The Beast Engine! Okay, so, yeah, he's riding on a monster, I guess? I guess I have to do that eventually. Okay. So it's working. It's working. Oh, excellent! Shiny actually, uh, Shiny actually released a post-mortem on this game. I found it earlier. I I'll have to actually read through it later. It's like five pages. And they talked about all the, all the problems they ran into. How do I get up there? Yeah, there we go. No, it, it turned off the electric barrier. Okay. Oops. Ow. It is a little bit. It's pretty fun, I think. Help me. It's got issues, but, you know, when the game works, it's fun. I, I forget, I don't know what they call it in the game. It probably has a special name. Of course. The guy just snipes me. Oh, the rig, yeah. And the energy I get from the killing enemies actually powers up the rig. <laughs> the the Laz Gripple. I like that name.
No, I have not. It just, uh... It changes colors. Like this level is so confusing. They have to show they have to give me arrows telling me which way to go. Excuse me. See, stuff like that seems to happen a lot. Since they don't they didn't bother with any invincibility frames. <clears throat> Make the beast eat the three biopods holding the parts of our buddy M M Mac Sheen. Then take him to the Barfomatic. I beg your pardon. Let's get the dinosaur thing down here. And while I'm at it, I want to get this stuff. Help me! Now I'm hearing it. Dragon Guard is winning, it's awesome. I'd like to play it. Okay, this guy is useless for fighting enemies. This is ridiculous. <laughs> well, it's still early. I mean, whatever could win. This thing can't even collect power-ups. 
I, you can't get power-ups while you're on this. Like, they, they really don't want you to use this thing. Yeah, I, I really look forward to it. I actually own the game. I used to own the game, but I sold it. I resold it because I didn't like it. I think I'll probably have a different opinion now. My my taste in games has changed greatly. Yep. Oops. Gotta get all the nines. I'm not gonna get all the nines. Now I play stuff like Dog's Life and Drake of the 99 Dragons. Oh god, what is wrong with me? Can't even get a checkpoint. Okay. I do like their, um... I do like Shiny's, uh... Ah, it made him wet himself. That's gross. Shiny's thing where they, they every level has to have some sort of unique thing to it. And it can't just be a platformer. It has to be a platformer where every level does something special. I, I don't know what's going on here. Like, Earthworm Jim 2 takes that up to, like, 11. I think Earthworm Jim 2 only has... What is... I think Earthworm Jim 2 had, like, two platforming levels in the entire game. What is Dog Child? I have not heard of that.
All right, what up? All right, I'll, t I'll check it out. Why is it so zoomed in? Why, why is it zoomed in like this? Don't do this! to get my dinosaur. I can see where it is. It's like in the foreground. Or it's it's down there. Oh no, there it is. I don't know what happened there. I was some sort of instant death. It looked like I got teleported into the enemy. I don't why is it so zoomed in here? <laughs> Look at this. the thing I need to make him eat. Okay then. <laughs> I'm just grabbing everything I can. God damn it. The screen is extremely zoomed in like <laughs> It's more zoomed in in this area than than it has been in other areas. And it's really fucking me up because they they keep putting enemies off screen. There is no reason to zoom in, but but it is. So there you go. Now I need to take this guy to the barfomatic to barf.
The Barfomatic. Healthy. Oh, he did the the Bionic Man super jump. Hey, Ninja Guido. Of course, this level can't be almost done. It has to go for 15,000 more hours. Oh, it's done. Uh, no continues. I think I got like 97 out of 99. Alright, let's do the beast ride. Colonel Craig is escaping! Get us close enough for the beast to take a bite out of him. They're like, yeah, they're like weird, cartoony... I don't know. It's, yeah, it's... There have been some, uh, been some sections that mix it up. Like uh, one one where you're falling, and you have to hit guys into the seat into the walls. That was pretty fun. I feel like I wasn't even close to that cactus, but I guess I hit its hitbox. <laughs> hey, at least... At least I'm not avoiding grandmas on an electric staircase. Really? The tumbleweeds? The tumbleweeds get you. He does, look at him. Come on. This is so annoying. That was an earthworm gym too. Is one of the one of the levels where you have to have 
We have to have gem control and electric uh, electronic stairs. A staircase climber, you know, that old people use. Um, and gr falling grandmas would fall on him. From from the top of the screen. And if they hit him, they would hit him. If, if uh, they hit Jim, they would hit him on the head until he fell all the way back to the bottom. It's really, really hard. Because if you make one mistake, you go all, you go all the way to the bottom. Every time. Also, bagpipe music plays. I don't know why. I guess just because weird. Like, bagpipe music? What did I hit there? The guy tripped on nothing. Yeah, but what does it have to do with avoiding grandmas on an electronic staircase climber? This is dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the hitboxes of these cactuses are gigantic. I think it's because the thing's legs, like, go way out. Get her! Ninja Guido, I'll sleep well when you do. I'll be at this for a few more hours. And by at this, I mean this level specifically. Yo, fuck you! Oh yeah. Hey Ruff. Wow, I just I just murdered 